Welcome everybody to this new video to Express. I'm going to be showing you today how to get started with adding product filtering inside Shopify. So it's going to be really, really easy. First of all, I'm going to go directly into my Shopify administrator tool. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Now that we are here into the actual Shopify, what I did want to do is to focus into the applications. But first of all, let's go and crack out our online store. Check out here, we do have our actual catalog. We have the electronics and snowboard supplies. This is one way of filtering our actual website. But what we wanted to do is to navigate to the products and adding collections. So in order to enable the filtering, what I wanted to do is to go back into my store. Let's go into my products. Inside products, what you do want to do is to go and focus inside collections. Now the collections are going to be helping you to get started to filtering the elements as you are moving so on and on and on. So for example, let's say that I'm going to get started with a create collection. And here I just type T-shirts. And of course, you wanted to choose manual. I hit into save and automatically it's going to be popping out this new product section. Let's go into browse and let's select all the products that applies inside your actual element. And let's go back and my collection should now be created. Now the process of the step number one has now been successfully done. Now moving on into the actual element to adding filtering. So edit collection and enable the filtering. Choose a collection you wanted to add the filtering to click into edit. I, what I wanted to do is to enable this actual collection directly inside my menu. So I'm going to go here inside my online store. Let's get into navigation bar and locate your custom uh, actual menu. In this case, here is my menu. So I'm going to go here into my menu item. And here, as you can see, we have the catalog. So I'm going to go for add menu name should be t shirt and of course the collection that we actually created which in this case is going to be um t shirts add and there we go as you see now it appears inside a catalog i'm going to hit now to save and we're actually good to go the last thing that i can totally just do to check out how it's going to be looking all your products let's go into applications and here type search and discovery now the search and discovery is going to be helping you to enable the filtering directly inside your Shopify store. It's going to be really, really easy and it's going to be much more faster for people who uh, wanted to check out your actual website and check out the filtering of your, all the filtering of your product just in case you have more than 20 products, 30, 30, 40, whatever. So you're going to go into customize my filters and as you can see, I already have the availability, the price and the color. I'm going to go for add more filters. And you can add a new source, for example, the product type. The label, of course, would be product type. The values, here I can add a specific value, or I can create a group if I wanted to. For example, the name should be, I don't know, maybe the size, or in this case, the product type, um, I don't know, maybe cotton, whatever. So I can add a new value, and I hit into done. And here is my new value. So you're gonna go into save, and there's created an actual product type. I can do as much filtering as I wanted to. And now let's get into view. If I get into view down here, you should see that down instead of the products a little above of that, I can see the filtering now, availability, the price, the color, and the product type. So you can change the product type directly inside your actual elements to back inside product, inside collections, or go into a product, I select a product and inside a product, I scrolling a little bit down and here I have my text, my bundle, my collections, my product type and here into the product type, let's say that I go and look out for and now this product type has now been created and saved it. Let's go back and you wanted to do exactly the same thing with another product. I click on it, clicked into product type and automatically here is going to be appear into my portable air. So I do exactly the same thing. And later on, what I do is to go into my apps, search and discovery, and I want to enable that filtering directly inside my product type. And here is my value. Let's reload the page and see if this one is available. There we go. As you should see, have the portal error already been enabled into my filtering. So I click on it and there we go. As you should see, it actually works. It looks really great. So guys, it's a really easy uh, way to filtering your products. Another solution that I can give you is to use another application. So I'm going to go here into apps and just type filter. 
if I go for filter inside the Shopify app store, it's gonna be showing me a lot of applications that I can choose to boost an AI search and filter or having a smart product filter and searched. Um, what you wanted to do is just to make sure that the actual filtering that you install is a free plan available and only that. You don't want to pay for uh, another application or having a day free trial because it's not worthy, guys. So what I can totally suggest is just to focus into the search and filtering elements that are totally for free. But if you ask me, the elements that were created by and for Shopify are actually really great. For example, the Shopify search and bundles. You have so much more stuff. For example, the bundles, you have the inbox, marketplace connecting, Shopify flow, translate and adapt, collapse, and so much more applications can be aided directly from the actual Shopify and you don't have to pay absolutely for anything since this one is already been uh, coming inside from the actual plan that you paid for. And there guys, you have it. An actually really, really easy way to filter your product inside Shopify. With that being said guys, we're now reaching to the very end of the video. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools here in Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully this was a very easy solution for you guys. Let us know in the comments below if you kind of like this video. And well guys, hopefully we can all see you on the brand new next video of Shopify.